Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I am going to do a petri dish, well the beginning of a petri dish um, mirror. So I have some tiny little marbles and I thought that those would look kind of cool in it. And I am using some Mastercast resin. Uh, Right now, it's really my only casting resin I have. Um, I forgot I had it, so I brought it back out, and we are going to get started. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so easy to mix. I think it's got like a 30-minute working time. So these are little marbles. I can't remember why I bought them, but apparently I needed them. I've got my resin mixed up here. It's pretty thick. Um, I mixed it up slow, but um, it's really kind of thick for a casting resin. Normally they're a little bit thinner, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start out by putting some of the resin in the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just putting marbles in it, right? I do have um, I have used the Mastercast for a flood coat and it is pretty Pretty clear. I like it. I do not like the bottle. Um, because as you're pouring it, it can just like glump out. So I see that there are bubbles in here and they don't look like they're going to move. Doesn't look like they're going to pop. I don't know. Let me get all the bubbles. All right, so popping the bubbles, it's not going to happen. But I don't think it's going to matter in this particular case because I'm putting marbles in it, right? So I'm just going to drop in some marbles. I'm gonna have to go to bed after this. It's like six o'clock in the morning and I've been up all night. But my husband watched, took care of the puppy all day yesterday. So I've just been down here making like mass videos because I don't know when I'll be able to it away and do it again so hopefully I'll have enough and I will be 
doing my um, 2000 subscriber giveaway here soon. I want to make sure that these are all I just want one layer, but I don't want any spots. If you guys can hear the floor squeaking, my husband is up now, so I'm sure he's going to come down here and ask me why the hell I didn't go to bed. Actually, he'll probably say, go to bed, asshole. It's a funny little game we play. Okay. So, all right, they're all in one layer. I don't know if this is going to look cool. I thought it might. So, they're all in one layer. Look like caviar. I made too much resin because I need to put another layer. This layer has to dry first. And by dry, I mean cure. <laughs> Hmm, what am I going to do with that? We will see. I don't know. I just moved you out of frame, I think. I actually have to move it up because it's not even. So now I'm going to just dump in or drop in some alcohol eggs. I've got the Marabou Rainbow. This one is Stream. some let's put some blue this is a uh, alcohol ink this one's from let's resin it just says blue
Come on. And this one's Let's Resin White. I have Pinata on order because this does not do the same thing the Blanco Blanco does from Pinata. So. Come on. All right, this one's Stream. Looks like a green, yeah, it's like a green teal. It's just not heavy like the Blanco Blanco, so it doesn't do its funky thing. All right, so this is the Marabou. Whoop, what the hell? This is the, I just got it all over me. Lovely. This is the Marabou Rainbow. And this one dances pretty good in there. Oops. Make it. Yeah, that's fancy. That's some fancy stuff right there. So normally this is the part where I would normally go in and swirl it and do some weird stuff and turn it into mud. Hey, this is a different white. This less resin white says normal. This one says advanced. I wonder what the difference is. Let's find out, shall we? Um, let's do drops of this stream all right we'll see what the difference is this one's called advanced white so let's see if it does does nothing. Hang on. You gotta poke them to open them. All right, let's see what it does. idea what the difference is. Where'd that blue go that I used the first time? Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Stealing a little bit of stuff. Um, I 
This is a horrible bottle. This rainbow marabou thing. All right, this lets it dance a little bit. All right. So I'll put all of this back. Put this somewhere. So yeah, this is where I would normally just swirl it around, but I think I'm just going to leave it be. And there might be... All right, so this is this is um, some homemade alcohol ink I made with uh, Color Arts Bling It Blue. So it's got it's a interference blue, and I made it with ninety nine percent alcohol. And let's see if I can get it to dance a little bit. This is just straight alcohol. Nope. Yeah, I don't know guys. I don't think I like the... I don't think I like the Let's Resin I told you I'll mess it all up, but I just want you to be able to see it through the marbles. It's very pretty. I just, they don't, I keep saying dance, but you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever done a Petri dish, the alcohol will... dance. Okay, we're going to go with that. This stream is beautiful color. So I do have a little bit of clear here and I'm going to see what happens if I just drizzle some. See if it'll push some of that color down. And I think it'll give it a lot of depth. Just random. See how it pushes its way through? So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And I don't want to put a torch on this because alcohol, flames, probably not a good idea. So I'm just going to, from up high, see if I can pop some of these bubbles. Like I said, this is, I'm going to be putting another clear layer on this when it dries. Um, and then putting a mirror. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Hang on, yeah, let me see if it will focus. See, so that marabou. It really is pretty. I don't like that spot right there. Y'all, I am... <laughs> I am really pressing my luck here walking around with this like I'm a waitress it's gonna go flying I just know it 
I'm going to send some of the color back over here. Okay. All right, we're going to see what happens in these. So this is kind of what I've been playing around with. Um, this is not casting resin. This was just a, what is it called? Just a trial piece just to see how the flowers held up. Um, so, like the last layer will be like really thin clear with a mirror under it. Like I said, this is not a casting resin, so it has a lot of bubbles in it, but this is what I'm trying to work with. So this is what We'll see if that works um, tomorrow when it dries. I have another one going too. I found this idea on Artsy Mad Woman. She is just too damn cute, and I love watching her channel. She works with real flowers, and I don't have that kind of fanciness happening. So these are silk flowers, but hers are real and she is fantastic and funny and cute. So go check her out. Her mirrors look way better than mine, but such a cute idea. I wanted to try it. So I will see you guys tomorrow to see how they come out. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys. So, I unmolded this. This was the top with all the bling it. I ended up putting two darker colors in. Here's the sides. It looks kind of cool. You can see the marbles from the sides, right? It looks kind of cool. But I messed up and I made it too dark. So you can't really see. I mean, you can see them, but not as much as I wanted to. So I. This one's. I don't know if it's considered a fail or an oops. I don't know. I'm not in love with it. So I made a new video making three other different kinds. I will be revisiting the marbles. Um, so this is how this one turned out. Uh, stay tuned for a, another video in the near future of me redoing this petri. where I just use a clear so that I can see these marbles better. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the little bell. Let me know uh, that way if you hit the bell and then click all so you'll be notified of all of my uh, videos when I post. And uh, come join us on our Facebook page, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. It's a page that I run with Tammy Anderson, and I will see you guys soon.